All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna go over the email technique for validating your idea. This is by far the simplest of the five techniques. Really, I'm just gonna show you that you can use your email, costs you absolutely nothing, and you can get feedback from people. I know that sounds ridiculously simple, um, and it kind of is, but a lot of people skip over this. So let's just say I had an idea for a website and I didn't really want to pay any money. Um, I didn't really wanna buy any ads. How would I get some kind of immediate feedback? Well, first thing you wanna do is you wanna tap your network. Um, everyone has a network, whether it's your family, it's your friends, um, it's your roommates, it's anybody who will respond to you in an email. Honestly, uh, the more people you have, the better, but if you have five responses, that's something to go off of. Again, if you listen to the previous lecture about setting your expectations around validation, we're just trying to see which way the wind is blowing. We wanna see if we're getting more yeses than nos. We're not trying to see without, it's trying to establish without a doubt whether or not this is gonna be successful because that unfortunately is just impossible. But it's not impossible to get a decent idea of whether or not this is something that's feasible. Um, so the easiest way to do this is really just to open up an email uh, whatever you use, I so um, I use Apple Mail. Um, so what I would just do is I would write it to everybody I know that I talk to on a daily basis. I email on a daily basis. Anyone who's going to respond, and the way that you would get someone to respond to this is in the header. You tell them how simple it is. I would just say uh, need five minutes of feedback. Super duper simple. Need five minutes of feedback. You can just say anything like uh, need help. Um, say, hey, can I have your opinion on something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just they need to know when they see the email that it's something they can do very quickly and that it's something that they um, she can really have no excuse for not opening it and answering it. So, and then in the email, I would just say, you know, hey, let's hear your friend's name. I have an idea for blank. And then give them a couple sentences of information. Don't drown them out. That's what's going to make it's going to be annoying for people. That's what's going to make it such that people don't always respond. So yeah, the way I like to do it is I just like to give two sentences. Um, so let's make a scenario. Um, let's say I want to make a website that lists all of the happy hour specials in my city. Obviously, well, other websites have done this. I'm just using this as an example. So, hey, friend, I have an idea for, we could just say a website. A website. I was curious if you could give me your feedback real quickly. <laughs> 